Hey, where are the remote-controlled missiles? Great question, Snake. They're in Smash Ultimate, and they're fucking awesome. What's up, everyone? My name is Lenny, and today I'm bringing you a video dedicated to Snake's Nikita missile. The reason I'm making this video is because, in my opinion, Snake's missile is hands down the best ledge guarding tool in the entire game. It's a very important and useful tool for any snake player out there, and it can be extremely frustrating to play against. So in this video, I'll be showcasing some kills that I got using the missile, as well as the effects of certain attacks, and especially the reflectors on the missile itself and how it behaves. So without further ado, let's get started. So to start off, I'd like to mention that for some reason, the Nikita missile, when it comes in contact with the hitbox, it gets thrown off course, and oftentimes it goes straight through your opponents. You can see it in this clip here as Mario throws his fireball. It should have hit him in the head, but for some reason, it goes right through him. Uh, so be wary of this. This works with just about any hitbox in the game. Uh, so sword characters or anything of that sort, is able to counter his missiles by attacking them. Mario does have his reflectors with his cape, so be sure you watch out for that. Uh, as far as Link goes, his Hylian shield actually protects him from most of the projectile Snake has to throw. It offers him full protection from head to toe, so if he's on the ground, it, Usually, you're not going to get him with this unless he's trying to, to do something with his moves. Uh, or if you catch him in midair, that would be the only time you can hit him. The same goes for Young Link, whose wooden shield is able to protect him from the missiles as well. Um, and the same goes for Toon Link, whose shield covers most of his body anyways. The only way that you're able to hit Link's is if you loop it around behind them. Um, other than that, they'll be well protected. Kirby, on the other hand, doesn't have a reflector or a shield, but he is able to suck up your projectiles. If you throw a grenade, he'll be able to suck it up and take a little bit of damage from it from the explosion. If you throw the missile at him, he'll have the option of either pressing down tilt to heal for 1%, or he'll be able to spit it back at you in the form of a star. Next up is Fox, who obviously has the shine, which covers his entire body. It'll reflect anything that comes in contact with it, any projectiles, so you won't be able to get him um, with it on the ground and oftentimes not in the air. His gun also hits the Nikita missile, and as you can see, it causes it to go right through him. The same holds true for Falco and also Wolf um, regarding their lasers. Remember that Falco's laser comes out pretty far, so... If you're close to him, you'll more than likely get hit by your own missile. The only way to hit Falco is if you go around and hit him from behind. If you hit him on the head, it'll more or less stop the impact and he won't take damage. So you gotta loop it all the way around. Wolf Shine covers him entirely and has a damage multiplier, so just watch out for that one. Peach is able to press B and protect yourself with Toad and throw some poison gas at you. The same goes for Daisy, they negate the damage entirely, and if you're close enough to them, they'll be able to hit you with the cloud. Zelda's special is able to act as both a hitbox, which causes it to move right through her, or as a reflector, depending on the timing. Mewtwo's is pretty self-explanatory, he'll just reflect it with his side B. Nothing much else to say about that, so be careful when you try to hit him with the missile. Game & Watch's bucket unfortunately doesn't catch any of Snake's projectiles. The grenades will get bounced right off and he won't take any damage from them either. If you shoot a Nikita missile, it'll actually get reflected back at you, so watch out for that. Um, I tried to angle it into his bucket, thinking maybe there's a special way he can catch them, but it, it doesn't seem like his bucket is able to catch these. Pit's shield protects his entire body from any projectiles and reflects them back to the user. Um, it has a relatively short cooldown, so he'll always have this available even though they go down over time. Uh, so just be careful when you're trying to hit Pit with uh, the Nikita missile. Same goes for Dark Pit, whose 
Shield move honestly doesn't have mm, anything different from the other pit. Wario is able to eat your projectiles. If he eats a grenade, he'll suffer damage much like Kirby. If you shoot an Akita missile, he'll just have it for dinner and forget about it. He won't take any damage. He'll just make it disappear. Kindiri, on the other hand, has one of the better counters to Snake's projectiles. He's able to suck up your grenades and toss them back at you, and usually I believe they, they deal more damage. Same goes for the Nikita missile. If he hits you with it, it'll have more knockback and more damage. So definitely be careful when trying to, to use these on King DDD because he can, he can throw some hurt. The villager is able to catch all of your projectiles. He can cook your grenades as he pulls them out. He has them in hand, so he's able to throw them right away. If he catches the Nikita missile, he'll throw it in one trajectory. Next up, we've got Rosalina and Luma, who isn't able to throw them back at you or flex them, but she absorbs any of the projectiles you might throw. So it's kind of hard to hit her, especially off stage. Her recovery is really good, so you might want to spend your time trying to set up on stage and try to rebuild control instead of hitting her with the missile. Politena's counter actually has a reflector, so if you hit her with, with a missile, she'll actually throw it back at your face, so definitely watch out for that. King K rules suction gun is, is not able to suck up the, the projectiles you throw at him initially, but it does create sort of a weird wind hitbox where if the missile interacts with it, it gets thrown off course and it more or less goes through him or causes it to crash on the ground. Be careful with King K rule, especially his recovery, his up B actually has armor. The only way to hit him while he's recovering is by getting him from the side. Otherwise, his helicopter will push right through it, he'll take no damage, and you'll probably be left in a vulnerable state. So definitely watch out with that. He also has his belly armor, uh, his counter, which will reflect any projectiles you throw at it. It can break down over time, but honestly, it, you'll probably never break it, and it regenerates anyways, especially when he dies. So just consider that he has an option to reflect them back at you. Isabelle is also able to pocket the items, much like the villager. When they shoot the Nikita missile back out, it also goes in the same trajectory. Next up are the mother characters, Ness and Lucas. They probably have the best counters to Snake's missiles. Um, Nessus covers his entire body. The explosion will get absorbed by it, and it has a hitbox, so if it doesn't absorb, it'll go straight through him. Same goes for Lucas, who won't take any damage as long as he has his down B active, and this goes for both the Nikita missile and the grenades. So definitely watch out. You'll probably end up healing them if you try to hit them with this. It's probably best to use some aerials or try to set up the stage. And you also have to watch out for their forward smash. Lucas's stick is able to reflect any projectiles thrown and does have a damage and knockback multiplier, so be careful with that. Ness's bat will also give you the same result. All right, I think that just about covers all of the characters with a special move or reflector that affect the missile. There might have been some that I missed, so if I did, please let me know in the comments and I'll get that updated. Special shout out to my wife who helped me record these clips, so thank you to her for making this video possible. If you enjoyed this video, you can support my work by hitting that like button or subscribing to my channel to get more content from me in the future. Other than that, thank you guys for watching my video. Is there anything else you'd like to add to that, Snake? I just keep putting things in my pocket. So that's why it's so big. Uh...